So Stuart is COO and principal at Harbourvest. How have you seen uh, the change in the non-investment department over the years? Um, I think there's been a considerable amount of change um, in terms of how we look upon ourselves as a, I don't like the term and it's a bit archaic, back office function. I think um, there's a lot more to be said for um, the investment professionals and other supporting um, professionals as part of the team. I think in any other business where you have people who are doing a service and providing services to the customer, if you like, and our customers are shareholders um, or investors, um, it, it, people aren't looked upon or um, put in these boxes. And I think um, the challenge still um, is to move that forward because um, it, it feels right that the so-called back office, <laughs> we haven't found another term, we need to find another term, um, is eating at the same table as everybody else because they've got huge amounts of energy, intelligence to bring to the party. What do you, what do you see as the key deliverables for you? To, is it to the deal team? Is it to investors? Um, what are you there to, what's your mission? I think, you know, it's delivering to um, in mind, you know, we run a listed fund. I run a, one of the listed funds at Harbour Vest, and it's delivering to shareholders and an independent board, which is a slightly different dynamic as you have in traditional LP structure, where you have advisory boards and LPs, um, investors, and you have a deal team. Um, I think if we can move, I don't like the term customers to the deal team because I think we're all one one firm, and it should be what do we deliver as a product towards our um, investors. Do you think with the change in regulation, the increased complexity of deals, um, has that put a strain on uh, non-investment teams to be more efficient and effective? Um, I, I think it's always a challenge. Um, as I said, I don't think you can fight regulation. You have to embrace change and I think there's a real um, competitive advantage from being um, flexible, adaptable and delivering these. For example, you want to open up in a new geography, you want a new product. Sometimes you can say no, but you do your damned utmost to deliver that if that's what the client, the customer, the investor requires. Well, thanks very much Stuart and uh, see you next year. Yep, hope so.